and damned if a rock didn't hit the windshield and crack the windshield. Good morning everybody. This is Cruise Man. Just about to head off from my Sunday breakfast here at Awake. Don and I usually meet up here on Sundays. And we thought it was going to be super cold this morning, but it turned out not to be too bad. It was about 49 degrees when I left the house. And it's about, well, the temperature gauge shows 61 right now. It's probably a little cooler than that. It's probably in the 50s. Bike's been sitting out in the sun. That tends to warm up the thermostat a little bit, or thermometer. But overall, right now, it's a beautiful day. It's clear skies, no wind, good day to ride. I thought, what the heck, I'll just uh, fire up the GoPros, do a little motor vlogging. Not that I've got anything uh, revolutionary to tell you today, but you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's just good to remind everybody how fortunate we are to uh, just the ability to get out on the motorcycle and just a simple ride like this where you go meet somebody for breakfast or lunch or whatever uh, you like to do. Um, I usually ride the bike every morning uh, if the weather's decent, if it's not wet out and not too cold. Uh, my standard practice for years and years was to get on the bike every morning and ride to coffee at Einstein's uh, bagels but after the pandemic that kind of ended my daily routine because they no longer allow people to sit inside even though every other restaurant uh, is seating people Einstein's has kind of stuck to this policy of not allowing people to sit inside so that kind of blew my daily routine and the reason uh, I went to Einstein's is because it's the only place that opened up that early. Uh, they opened at 5 o'clock in the morning during the week. And uh, I'm kind of an early riser, so I like getting up early and beating the traffic. And so now I've been uh, doing my morning routine at home pretty much. Now Don and I will meet up here at Awake a couple of times a week because they they do open up at 7 and they do allow people to sit inside and in fact it's right next door to Einstein's <laughs> which is kind of ironic because while Einstein sits there empty uh, sometimes the uh, awake restaurant will be half full or more so do you have a morning routine or a daily routine that involves your motorcycle I'd like to hear about it maybe you ride your bike to work uh, put it in the comments down below. Now it's uh, 57 degrees right now, so to me that's perfect riding weather. This is a perfect day to ride. I love it when it's cool outside. I'd much rather ride in the 50s than I would in the 80s or 90s. And it's just uh, <clears throat> really crisp and cool and just really a beautiful day today. But I know some of you up north are probably uh, got your bikes stored away for the winter time and I just uh, kind of reinvigorated my video I have a YouTube video out there on what to do to kind of winterize your bike before you store it away for the winter so uh, if you have any ideas uh, somebody have a, had a really good idea the other day they they put a comment in on how one of the things they do to winterize their bike and damned if I for, I've already forgot what it was I was going to tell you about it so uh, <clears throat> if you have any tips on winterizing your bike uh, put it in the comments I've got a couple of new review videos I'll be posting this week so uh, 
keep your eyes out for that on my YouTube channel. And we have a new video that I'll be posting to our 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. So for those of you that own those videos, uh, you will be getting an update very soon uh, to that series as well. And also, uh, take a second to remind you, if you do have my 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos, we have the tools cheat sheets available free. You can download them free. You should have gotten an email uh, from me telling you how to download those tool cheat sheets. And what it is, basically, you can print these out and anytime you perform a maintenance task, it tells you what tools you're going to need uh, before you go out to the garage to do that work. And it's completely free for those of you that own my videos. And if you did not get an email from me about the tool cheat sheets, maybe you have not registered uh, your video purchase, make sure you go to my website. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And you can go to my website and register. And once you've registered with your email address, you'll start getting these email updates. Some of you may have seen the video where I reviewed my new uh, Lexus NX300. And uh, the car still has less than a thousand miles on it. In fact, the other day, I was taking Ricky over to her mother's house in Fort Worth, and damned if a rock didn't hit the windshield and crack the windshield. In fact, it's the first time I can remember in years that I actually had a windshield crack. I've had those little chips, which can be repaired, but this one just then cracked halfway across the windshield. So, contacted the insurance company and uh, we got hooked up with Safe Light. I'm sure you've seen their commercials and I actually went to their place here in Carrollton and I actually was able to watch them do the whole job and replace the windshield and they replaced it with Lexus glass. Apparently on our car you have to use OEM glass because there's uh, sensors in the glass which I was unaware of. Something to do with lane change assist and parking assist. I had no idea that had anything to do with the windshield, but apparently it does. Because they had to recalibrate the windshield. So I got the final invoice. Of course, I, all I had to do was pay the deductible. But I got the final invoice, and those that windshield was over $1,600 to have it replaced. So I guess the insurance paid off on that one. But uh, they did a good job, a good you know, shout out to Safe Light here in Carrollton. They did an excellent job. You can't even tell it, it looks brand new. Uh, they really uh, took their time and took a couple hours, but I watched them do the whole thing and it was pretty amazing process. And when I was watching them do it kind of from a distance, I thought, oh my God, they're gonna tear up the paint on that A-pillar because they were using all these tools to pry off the windshield and everything, but I did a really, really close inspection after the job was done, and it, it, it looked uh, factory. I mean, you couldn't even tell they had done anything. Now, the big question is, is it going to leak? Because <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't driven it in the rain yet, but uh, hopefully, and if it does, they do warranty it for life, so uh, I guess I could always take it back to Safe Light and get another windshield put in if I had to. But uh, I watched them seal it, and it looked to me like they knew what they were doing, and uh, of course they do it all the time. So hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, eh, it's not wood, but whatever. Uh, hopefully it won't leak and everything will be fine. Hey, if you've ever had a windshield replaced on your car, put it in the comments down below what, what your experience was. But uh, that's about it for today. Like I said, not a lot to talk about. I did a motor vlog the other day, uh, but I wasn't happy with the result. I, I went back and watched the video and listened to what I had to say, and I think I can do a better job. And I'm, uh, it's, a, it's a topic that I really want to get into, and, and, but I want to do a better job production-wise. I don't think it really is suited to a motor vlog. So I'll be working on that in the coming uh, days and weeks. But anyway... Thanks again for joining me today. Please click the subscribe button and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And I will see you again on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. You guys ride safe out there.
If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.